Hello, in this video we're going to maximize a firm's profit subject to the following production function. A firm's production function is given by the following. Q, the quantity of output, is going to be the minimum of L or K raised to the one-half power. So we're going to maximize profit and we're going to assume the following. The firm sells its product at a price of $60 per unit. The price of labor or the wage is $1. The price of capital, or R, is going to be $2. And one thing we're going to notice here is that the efficient input mix requires that the firm use equal amounts of labor and capital, given the production function. So let's write our profit function. Profit is going to be price times output minus the cost of labor, minus the cost of capital, where W is the wage, which is going to be set to $1. R is going to be the price of capital, which is set to $2. And P, the price, is going to be set to $60. Let's make our substitutions for those prices. And then since L equals K, we can change this K to an L. And now for the Q, we're going to note here that the quantity of output is just going to be L to the one-half power, which is the same thing as K to the one-half power, since the firm will use equal quantities of labor and capital. And so we're going to make our substitution in for Q. We're going to put in L to the one-half power. And now we have the firm's profit function. We'll take the derivative of this profit function with respect to labor. And we get back the following result. We're setting this derivative equal to zero. We're maximizing. So bringing this one half down in front, one half times 60 is 30. One half minus one leaves us to the minus one half power here and the uh, following uh, results. Rewriting that last step and now solving for L. Moving this L to the minus one half into the denominator and multiplying through by L to the one-half power and now dividing through by three and squaring both sides the firm will use a hundred units of labor and since L equals K the firm will use a hundred units of capital going back to our profit function we'll plug in 100 for L and calculate the firm's profit it's going to be $300 okay I will stop here